Welcome to Module 4 of Teaching English to Children, presented by Wenatchee Valley College. In Module 4, we will discuss the role of motivation and the effective domain. And I am your instructor, Jeff Chandler. Reading for Module 4 is from Noonan's book that we've been using, and we are in Chapter 12, entitled the chapter entitled The Effective Domain. Also in Pinter's book, Chapter 4, the sections, the role of motivation, all the way through teacher skills and knowledge. Again, our, as we do always so far, and will do, our guiding questions for Module 4 are, number one, what is the effective domain? And number two, how does it affect learning? And number three, what can teachers do to build and enhance motivation in young language learners? And then number four, how can teachers reduce learners' anxiety in the language classroom? Let's begin as we always do by reflecting. Think back on your own experience learning a second language. Do you remember what it was like? What were some of your reactions when you started learning that second language? Did you feel anxious, you know, nervous, when you couldn't recall a response to a question, right? The, qu the teacher says, um, how old are you? in English, and you don't know what that is, you forget what is old. <laughs> How old are you? And you say, Saturday, <laughs> right? How old are you? Saturday. That's a wrong answer, right? And uh, so, do you remember that? How did it feel? Did you feel anxious when you couldn't recall, you couldn't remember how to respond to a question? Did you doubt your ability to speak fluently? And think that, did you think that the people who were hearing you would make fun of you, right? Oh, I've got a lot to say about this, by the way. So I'm gonna hopefully help you a lot. Remember, we talked about relational, being relational first, that I'm developing a relationship with my students, why? so that they will be comfortable and want to, um, you know, want to learn from me, want to respond to me. So we'll talk a lot about that, okay? Why do you think you felt the emotions, these emotions? You know, as adults, oh, we are, we're probably um, more anxious, possibly, I don't know but possibly we are a little more anxious of making mistakes, right? We're adults. We don't want to look foolish. So why do you think you felt these emotions? What did you do to encourage yourself, right? How did you encourage yourself? Give yourself what we call a pep talk. How did you encourage yourself? What did others do to encourage you? So both of these are important because you will probably, you will definitely do the last one. What did others do to encourage you? You will be encouraging your students. But I can also say it will be helpful for you to find out a method, a way in which you can help a student encourage himself or herself.